Okay, Jersey. Can you record? Hi. This? Oh, yes, director Justin Jersey. Action. Okay, so guys, basically, should siblings have their own room? Yeah. <laughs> you're behind the camera. You're breaking. The, you're not supposed to talk, Jersey. Oh. Basically, we're saying should siblings have their own rooms? We are going to give you five reasons why. Was that not good, Jers? No. I'll be back. No. In this video, we want to address the topic of siblings having their own rooms, or little monsters, as I said. Are we part of the little monsters? For sure. For sure. They almost broke each other's neck just now. Jumping off this, guys. I'm leaving. Okay, go. Please go. Go to your room. Go. Because when siblings have their own room, guys, you can tell them to leave and go to their room. There we go. In this video, we are going to give you the reasons that we believe that siblings should have their own room, especially when they are like twins, I guess, like you two. If you guys aren't familiar with us, our family, with this crew, we have fi a five member family, three children. This one right here. What's your name, buddy? Jersey. Jersey, okay. Jersey. So we have the Jersey, mouth. Alexis, and Ava. Ava. So we got three kids. Three kids, and right now, Jersey is the only one with his own room. Because he's a boy, obviously he was born, and we just gave him his own Kathy room. Kathy has a dog for. Dog's not my child. That's Sorry, dog child. lovers, but the dog's a dog. So yeah, we're going to get into it. Like, why do we believe if you can give your child their own room that you yeah. should? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mama, I think my nose was just moving. Well, whose fault is that? Yes, exactly. <laughs> we know it's a privilege that we can do this video, but maybe parents can relate to this, or maybe this is something you can adapt into your own life. If your kids cannot have their own room, maybe there's some good things here that you can take into your lives. Maybe there's a way that you can incorporate some of these things, because I think the things we're talking about are just gonna make our kids better kids anyhow. So one of the reasons that we think siblings should have their own room is for privacy reasons. This is our bathroom, but even though we have separate sinks, Let me show you separate not. sinks. See, this is Ava's sink. Disgusting. And this is Alexis's sink. Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have no privacy. Just like, um, Ava takes a big dump and oh, I'm like, Ava, you stink! Bruh. Oh, so basically, you know when you're problem? trying to brush your teeth, Ava's trying to stink up the bathroom. No, you yeah. yeah. so, <laughs> know, I'll brush my teeth, my sister will pee and poop in there while I'm brushing Kids my teeth. Because you want to get a bath. Also, and also, she will stink up the bathroom because she is, you, you know, she is not allowed to touch the spray. You see this? She's not allowed to spray it. Yeah, Alexis is no longer allowed to use bathroom spray because why? Because she Alexis uses so an much. entire bottle every time. <laughs> Unacceptable. So really we're looking to give them their own privacy and space. Ooh. One of the benefits of them having their own room when we move will be them having their own bathroom. And as you can see now, we're in Jersey's bathroom and he's got his own privacy. See, he's got his own tub over there. And, and towel. And towel, and you brush your teeth, right? What do you, what do you brush your teeth, buddy? Today. You brush your teeth every day. Yeah, so Jersey has his own privacy, guys, and the girls don't, and they fight a lot over that. Right, Jersey? Yeah. One of the other reasons that we feel it's time for our girls to have their own separate space is so that they can really express themselves and express their own creativity. Like right now, this is their shared space in here, and like this is Ava's side. You see, it says Ava. And this is Alexis's side. As you can see, let me look at that. <laughs> way back. It's insane. Way back. Every time I turn and look at them, they just look like ridiculous. I'm giving her payback for when she get on, got on my head. I'm giving her payback for when she got on my head. Nobody in life should ever be on your head. <laughs> unless you're wearing a hat. That's that story we told where I said Alexis was hanging off here like King Kong and then jumped on Ava. So what happened is, Alexis was hanging off of here like um, King Kong, and she jumped down, literally. And Ava, at the same perfect timing, was running through her room like someone was chasing her for no reason. Why are you running? And this was what happened. This is Ava, this is Alexis. It was like a Mario, Super Mario Brothers episode. She landed and crushed her. It was not my fault. So, as I was saying, I let them decorate a little bit to kind of like 
express themselves a little, but overall I had to override the decision to make it a shared space. So they couldn't just like have a crate, one completely different than the other side, the room would look absolutely nuts. And when they get their own rooms, they can decorate however they want. It could look completely different from the other. We did not decorate all this. She did a surprise. I know, that's what I just said. Yeah, it was a nice surprise, wasn't it? Yes. yes. So I was telling people, you guys always flank me like we're a girl. No, they always flank. Yeah, they always flank me like I'm a girl group. Like we're <laughs> every time I go and talk to them, they just let's just be Destiny's child. Goodness gracious! I'm telling people about your room and how when you have your own room, you can decorate however you want and express yourself. But I also want to make a point that when we went to see the house and you guys picked your room, so to speak, you Ava instantly said, "I want my walls to be exactly the same as my sister's." Is this the same size room? Can we have the same? I'm like, I thought we were getting a space so you guys can have differences. That room well, I small. just need the same because that room wasn't, uh, the walls didn't Hold look on. that good. Alexis, stop saying that. Okay. <laughs> you know what it is? She's spoiled. Let me clarify something. Siblings should have their own room if the circumstances allowed that. I mean, when I was growing up, I certainly didn't have my own room. I shared it with my stepbrother and my sister. And there was a time when we lived in a small trailer and there were like six of us in a little RV trailer. So I did not grow up with that type of privilege. And it is a privilege for kids to have their own room. I know Ami as well, my wife, she didn't grow up that way either. I think she shared a living room with two other siblings. This room is humongous, it's huge. It's like a double bedroom, actually. You can cut this in half and make two rooms. So now that they're getting single rooms, Alexa said, that room is small. I'm like, are you nuts? That's bigger than the room I grew up in. It's just she's spoiled by this size room. You actually It's can't going to be only one person that. in that room, Alexis. So it's not small. I forgot that what happened. She thinks they're going to share that room. No. Back to what I was saying. Ava and Alexis, I hope you take this opportunity to really do what you want to do. As a matter of fact, when we decorate, we're gonna do a video and I'm going to close the doors in their rooms and they can't see each other's rooms. That'll be the challenge. There you decorate you your side, you decorate your side. And as, as I was, say, was saying, I want it the same color as my sister's room. And second of all, and second of all, um, what is it again? <laughs> yeah, boy. Guys, look what we have here, a mess on the floor, which is another reason why siblings should have their own room if possible. They can't blame each other for each other's mess. So we got a mess right here, and when mom and dad come in the room, we just say, clean up the mess, right? But somebody, is this yours or is it yours? Whose mess is this? Ava. It's always Ava's mess, but you guys always come in here and think, I need to clean. So it's always Ava's mess on the, on the ground? That is not true. It's about 90% true. Um, because I do, when I come in here and I see stuff on the floor, and I'll say, didn't I tell you to clean this up? Alexis was like, um, that's Ava. I can't wait until we I get my own room, so my room will be clean and my bathroom won't smell so bad. When you have your own room, does that mean it's going to look like a pigsty and be nasty and clothes everywhere and you're going to have junk? Nope. When I get my own room, then I would want to keep it clean because it will be mine. So guys, what do you think about that? Siblings having their own room so they can't blame each other for the mess. They can keep it clean or they can get dirty. But the other thing is like the mom and dad can appropriate the discipline to the right child because we'll know who is making the mess. So another reason siblings should have their own room, if possible, is it can avoid sibling jealousy, right? So the girls are sharing a room. Jersey has his own room. We don't want the girls to be upset and jealous. Like, why does Jersey have his own room? We want our, our, our room. Currently, that is a problem sometimes in the house. You know, when the girls gets in trouble, we send her to the room, the other girl's in there, so she can't really be on punishment with the other yeah. twin in the room. But this is Jersey's room, and sorry if the walls, everything looks bare, but we're moving, so we're taking everything off the walls. So right now, Jersey's room looks pretty minimal. It looks pretty good. Oh, you think it looks pretty good? Yeah. But Jersey does want to show everyone how he can uh, slide down his bed, but we took the monster trucks off the wall. We took his picture off the wall. Jersey, let's see your best slide, buddy. Whoa, That's buddy. In our house, we want to try to avoid sibling rivalry. It's, we want the kids to be healthy and not being in competition with each other. And we're grateful and blessed that we are in a position that the kids can have their own room. So we're very thankful for that. So I can have my, my toys. Right. I got this, 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 this. I got a lot of toys. Which one's your favorite? 
All of them. All of them, okay. And for some of you guys who share rooms with other siblings and other kids, hey, I've been there. When I grew up, I never had my own room. I had my, I had a room with three other people for the most part. So. Dada? I get it, yeah. When you were, when you, when you didn't have a room, me and you be, um, well, when I didn't have a room, you weren't here yet. You weren't born yet. When I was a kid, I didn't have my own room. I had to share a room. Jersey, isn't it great that you have your own room? Yeah. You have your own bathroom? Yeah. You can come in here and play by yourself and do whatever you want and think. Yeah, I can play with everybody. And you can play with me. You can say, Dada, can you come in my room and play with me? And I'll say, of course. Siblings having their own room, especially twins, will also help them like really develop their independence, especially with twins. These two, look at these two over here. Where's the independence, girls? It looks like an octopus in here. It is independent to me. Exactly. They don't even know what independence means because they've never had it. <laughs> that means being... That's like saying well, you don't know what cat means because you never had a cat. <laughs> no, independence means you girls being independent of each other, apart, being your own person, not Siamese twins. Can I get out of this thing? <laughs> Having twins, identical twins, it's very important that they develop their independence, that they know that they're different people. Having their own rooms are kind of grouped in as twins. And one is Ava, one is Alexis. They're two different people. Alexis, are you and Ava the same person? Yes. Yes. Wait, wait, Justin. That is how dependent <laughs> upon each other they are. They don't even know they're two separate people. Who's signed these twins over here? She answered so confidently too. Yes! That's how they're so dependent upon each other. They don't know that they exist within other bodies. No, the truth is, Ava, you are your own person. Alexis, you are your own person. You just have the same face, but you're different people, right? Can I recreate a moment really quickly? Sure. Do you know that you're twins? Yes. Girls, yes. do you know that you're twins? Yes, we do. Yeah. Do you know that means you look alike? Yes, yeah. we do. Look at her face. Does it look like yours? Yeah! <laughs> Go with it! We created that the, the twins find out they're identical. That's what I did. Do you know your twins? Look at her face. Does it look like yours? You don't remember that? Wow, you guys should need to watch that video. Birthday. You do have the same birthday, but you also look alike. Look at your face. Look at your sister's face. And look at her face, Ava. Does she look like your face? Yes. Yes. Do you think having your own room will make you more independent? Meaning being able to think for yourself, do things on your own, not being dependent upon your sister? I don't know what any of that means. That means your happiness is really based upon what your sister's doing. But is can, this a question? Yes. Question? Can Ava think for yourself? Can you think with your own mind about what you want to do, what you want to wear, what you want to eat? Well, I already do, and that's why I am okay with getting a separate room. Your own room, right? Yeah. And how do you feel about getting your own room, Alexis? Well... Why'd you do that with your chin? Are you writing a book? Thinking. One thing... I like about having my own room is, well, I can decorate it however I want. Cause she doesn't have good taste. Girl, I do. No, you know. A big reason siblings should have their own rooms, if possible, is they will follow the rules better. <laughs> Speaking of, I'm in the girls' room, and what are you doing up there, Ava? Oh. You're on top. Of, should you be doing that? Should what is the rule in this room? Well, don't. Well, one rule is don't jump off the bed. Yeah, so get back. Now. Aww. There you go. <laughs> Alexis, could, could she land on you and hurt you? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so come over here with me real fast. So following the rules is important in any house, and we feel that if siblings have their own room, then they have more apt to follow the rules, okay? So rules are important, right? Because you get in trouble if you don't follow the rules. Yeah. And if they have their own room, then they can go in there and they can think about things, they can understand the rules, they don't just follow each other around and do whatever. I don't know why I'm <laughs> filming like this. Look at that the way I'm filming. Thank you for watching, and make sure you do more videos. Subscribe and show them the more of cases. Thank you for watching.